My mom gave me three plastic surgeries for my 18th birthday. Let's make a nice nose, enhance the cheekbones, and enlarge something. That way, you'll have a chance at a decent life, dear. My mom considered being married to a rich man a worthy life, and she already had a candidate in mind. Someone willing to pay for my youth. However, there was one problem. He wasn't satisfied by my small curse and plain appearance. So I gladly agreed to undergo all three surgeries. Thanks, Mom. You care so much about me. Unfortunately, my mother didn't have money for the surgeries. But as always, she gave me some wise advice. You can withdraw the money your father left you for college. You're already 18, now you have access to it. Mom said that it would be the best investment I could make. Because after marrying a wealthy man, I would never have to think about school or work ever again. Neither you nor I will have to deprive ourselves of anything anymore. Of course, I immediately did what my mother said. I always felt indebted to her and implicitly followed her lead. She raised me all by herself, treated my asthma, and spent all her time taking care of her sick daughter. Plus, after the divorce, she wasn't able to get a personal life again. I dreamed of a time when I could thank her. And that time had come. I would be able to give her a luxurious life. The very next morning, we went to see a doctor. But he was surprised by our requests. There is nothing wrong with your nose. The respiratory tract is fine. As for the breasts, they will grow until you're 21. So far, I don't see the need for implants. But there was something very important to me. The fact that my fiancé saw the need for implants. I didn't want to let my mother down. So I had to change as soon as possible. I need all three surgeries this week. If you won't do them, we'll go to a doctor who will. Hmm. The doctor was taken aback by my decision and asked for a little patience. Let's wait for your test results first. Unfortunately, the results were disappointing. As it turned out, my asthma was not compatible with general anesthesia. An attack may occur during the surgery, and it would be life-threatening. Mom was very upset. I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted a better life for us, for you. I couldn't do that to my mother, so I asked the doctor if there were any other options. The only option is for the patient to accept the risks. Of course, it was not an easy choice. On one hand, I could lose my life. On the other, it was the only way to give my mother the life she deserved. All doubts faded away when I felt her support. Honey, you are so brave. I'm sure the surgery will go well. No complications whatsoever. The next day, I signed a consent form. But much to my surprise, the doctor refused to accept it. Lily, you don't have to do this. Don't change your appearance for someone else. I was angry. Who was here to tell me that? It was my decision and no one had the right to change it. After my indignation, the doctor agreed to the surgery and suggested for us to go get some coffee to calm down. Hmm? 
when I got home, my mother greeted me with a joyful hug. So, when is the surgery? I can't wait to see the new you. There won't be a surgery. The doctor and I had a frank talk over a cup of coffee. And we liked each other. I was captivated by your daughter's natural beauty. We had a connection and she agreed to start dating me. My mother's eyes filled with blood and she seemed to have transformed into a different person. She immediately started shouting about all the terrible things that she had to endure while caring for a sick daughter for 18 years. And how it shouldn't be with a poor doctor. Whether you like it or not, you'll have to sleep with a millionaire. I deserve some big money. Do you believe me now, Lily? By introducing himself as my boyfriend, the doctor opened my eyes to the truth that I was just being used. That's how I found out that my mother was ready to sacrifice me in order to have wealthy life. And she skillfully manipulated me toward that purpose. Fortunately, the doctor stopped me from stepping into the abyss. At the age of 18, I had to learn to make my own decisions without my mother and her wise advice. So, my first decision was to go to college, while the second was to forget about someone who was willing to risk my life for money. Remember, sometimes it's the people closest to you that you have to watch out for.